So what's on your mind, Milton? I'm I'm really excited about the social permaculture kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, I really I really see it as, as being kind of the wave of the future for permaculture. Mm -hmm. and I think uh, um, there's a lot to be developed there. I think there's yeah. there's uh, just socially. I, I think we're not good at that anyway. Right. You know, in our existing culture, and to even just read the landscape, read the social landscape. There's, there's a, a lot of potential there I'm, I'm really excited about. It. Yeah, me too. It makes me think of uh, our work at Dawn Farm where we, and kind of the idea of permaculture self-sufficient cities would be like farms mm -hmm. producing outside of the city for city members, but also city, you know, citizens going out to the farm and working the farm. But it, but so that's like the critical element in, in sort of managing or working on a large scale farm for producing fruit for the city is the people. Who's going to do it? Yeah. Okay, great. We have two hundred acres. Let's say who's going to be out there? Who's going to tend to the systems? These are highly diverse systems with many many different yields. Someone has to be taking responsibility for it. Well, who's going to eat it too? I mean, you, know, you you have this abundant yield, and nobody knows what to do with it right no, you can't get it to market fast enough right you know nobody knows how to cook it or how to how to deal with it right that that's a huge hole yep that that needs hole. to be addressed and, and and but it's an opportunity yep. at the same time yep it's an opportunity i think for that specifically for <clears throat> cooks really uh, yeah. innovative cooks people who like to try new uh, ingredients and see what they can do how many ways can you cook a hazelnut how many ways can you yeah. cook a jujube or something you know, we don't know. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm not the cook. But we need people to demonstrate these dishes that are like, you know, beautiful examples, taste experiences for the citizens to understand. Oh, that's great. I want persimmons in my diet. I want that as often as I can get it. But at the same time, it needs to be as mundane as, as you know, like a staple crop. It might exactly. be that, that, you know, you're going to make your, your dinner, you cook up your pasta or whatever it is. <laughs> right. You know, that, that anybody can do. It can't be so... Yeah, so fancy or uh, outrageous that, yeah. that only the expert chef could do it. Indeed. Sunchoke is a good example because that's such yeah. a staple crop and it can be yeah, like a be. potato replacement, but it's still a fringe crop that people are like, okay, what do I do with it, you know? Pickle it. Pickle it. Yeah, that's mm. that's the way. Does it get rid of the flatulence? Yes, Does because the, the bacteria pre-digests yeah. the uh, what, inulin. Yeah. And, and so it makes it easier for us to so finish the digestion. Yeah. Thank you, bacteria. Yes, that's right. <laughs> that's right.